Hello, beautiful people. I am back from JSConf. JSConf was really inspiring and it got me thinking a lot about this show. Today, I have an exciting announcement to make. This show is finally getting a name. Welcome to Fun Fun Function. That is the name. Fun Fun Function. Fun Fun Function. I am going to spend this video talking about the goal of Fun Fun Function and four principles that are going to guide us towards that goal. These principles are not coupled to this show. In fact, they are general principles that represents qualities in programmers around me that I look up to. Here we go! The goal of Fun Fun Function is to make software better by making programmers better. And the four principles that will guide us towards that goal are Have fun! Explore wild ideas! Explore old wisdom! And teach! Let's talk about the goal first. Software is good and important. Software runs in cars, pacemakers, electric grids and nuclear power plants. But software is not good enough. What if we could solve car pollution with a transportation network of uh, self-driving electric cars? What if software could separate trash for us for perfect recycling? What if it could do surgery? What if it could locate and disarm old landmines? Software has made the world so much better, but it is still insignificant compared to the problem that we could be solving if software was better. So how then do we make software better? Well, we make programmers better. Since programmers are the ones writing software, it is on us to become better. And every day we don't, humanity is worse off. And I know that is a very ostentatious thing to say, as is using the word ostentatious. But it's also technically true. We want to become better programmers, not just I, not just you, not just us watching this show. No, we need to make the entire profession of programmers better. How can we do that? There's many possible ways, but we are going to focus on four. Have fun, explore wild ideas, explore old wisdom, and teach. Let's talk about the first principle, having fun. Programming, like most crafts, is both a tool to get shit done and a way to be creative and experiment. Both of those are important and we need to keep them in balance. But in situations where we have to choose between having fun and utility, we will choose fun. We are willing to sacrifice a little utility to have fun. And the reason for that is that becoming a great programmer requires active and constant learning for a very, very, very long time. And to have the stamina to keep up with that learning, you really must have fun along the way. <coughs> Principle 2. Explore wild ideas. Programmers are humans, and we humans are creatures of habit. We tend to become comfortable with ways of thinking, and it's very important to constantly counter that by exploring new and weird ways of thinking. Stuff that is outside the industry comfort zones. New languages, new patterns, and generally crazy hat novel ways of doing things. Deliberately and constantly blowing our own minds. This partly goes back to the first principle, having fun, but it's mainly so that we don't get stuck. Exploring old wisdom. So we talked about having fun and exploring wild new ideas, but in order to know what a wild new idea is, we need to know our history. Otherwise, we'll all keep reinventing things from the 1960s, rather than producing ideas that are actually new. So we need to go back in time, digging deeper into our love and knowledge of programming. Going back to the real fundamentals, to rediscover old truths that are still as relevant today, if not more. Fourth and final principle, teach. 
Humans, the Homo sapien, is a herd animal. That means that instinctively, when we are confused by a decision, we are going to look at what the herd does. So when something becomes popular, it tends to become more popular, and so on. And there is nothing wrong with that. Very often, popular ideas are good. But someone had to popularize those good ideas in the first place. For every good popular idea, at some point, somebody took the first step and led the way. Saying, uh, people, I, I, have, I have a better idea. Like when uh, Linus Torvalds introduced Git, when everybody else was using Subversion. On Fun Fun Function, you won't find many step-by-step -step tutorials on popular tools. We don't think such things are bad, but we think that there is plenty of them already. Instead, we will be focusing on exploring wild ideas and old wisdom in order to find ways to improve on what is popular. I'm going to warn you that you will be frustrated about the fact that the things that you learn on Fun Fun Function, in order to start using them, you will need to convince your colleagues that it's a good idea first. And that is the way it should be. It means that you are helping to push the industry forward. Teaching is a great way of revealing how sloppy your thinking is. Because when you have to explain and convince, then you really need to understand the why and the what of an idea. If you don't, you'll fail, because people won't be convinced or people won't understand. Teaching is the hardest principle of the four, but it's also the most important and the most rewarding one. All that fun we're having and all that exploring that we are doing is meaningless if we don't teach the people around us what it is that we've found. The goal of Fun Fun Function is to make software better by making programmers better, by exploring wild ideas and old wisdom, teaching, and most importantly, having fun. That is where we go. I am so excited. Next Monday, we'll start for real. Let me know what kind of video you would like that to be. Either comment down below or tweet at me at mpjme. And for the love of all that is holy and mighty and cute, do not miss that episode. Subscribe and follow me on Twitter. Until next Monday, stay curious.